Good morning everybody and welcome to this week's end of spring term blog. It's Wednesday the 29th of March and as I sit here I can reflect with great pride upon a term of real all-round achievements both on the parts of the pupils, the endeavours of the teaching and support staff uh, and as well our senior leadership team and governing body. Perhaps most significantly, we have surmounted some major obstacles that have been strewn in our path over the last few months, notably surmounting the planning application for our site, which is just such a breath of fresh air. It means that we can concentrate and plan for the future expeditiously, um, and I'm very much looking forward to doing um, exactly that. On top of that uh, added layer, we also have been waiting for over a year for the ISI full compliance and EQI inspection, which took place uh, a fortnight ago. These sorts of things are never easy on top of a busy working schedule for the school, but I am absolutely delighted with the outcome. I cannot share it with you formally yet, but I'm happy. Um, and I'm very pleased to say that once that report is finalised and uh, published, I will be very privileged to share that with you. And I think that you will find it captures the very essence and core of what a KHS education stands for. Upon which note, of course, the icing on the cake really for us this term was the visit recently of Sarah Kinane from the Independent Schools Council and Charlotte Phillips from the Good Schools Guide. These are two venerable institutions and they do not tend to rock up to schools unless there's a very good reason for doing so. Usually that is that the school is extremely reputationally strong, that there is a great brand and there is fundamental evidence of the education, the provision and offer making a very, very significant difference to the lives of the young people therein, which is exactly what we do here at KHS. And I'm very pleased to say that both those visits absolutely ascertained to those organisations the value of what we do here at Kingswood House every single day. And that was uh, an absolute privilege. As I say, the icing on the cake at the end of a long, uh, busy and ultimately a successful term. Last night, we also had the sporting dinner. It was the first occasion that we've been able to hold it since uh, before the pandemic. Uh, traditionally, it has obviously been linked very much with the Jersey tour that again wasn't able to take place this year due to paucity of numbers. But I'm very confident that in the years to come, both the trip to the Channel Islands and other sports uh, tours will be able to, to re return undiminished. As it was, it was a, a really fitting convivial occasion for staff, pupils and parents. I think nearly 100 of us uh, at Tyrrellswood Golf Club to celebrate that culture of sport for all. Wonderful to have boys, girls, staff, parents and indeed governors all together to raise the toast and to listen to Eric Peters, who is uh, not only a current uh, Kingswood House parent, but also a very esteemed former Scotland uh, international and uh, a uh, fellow compatriot and former teammate of Doddy Weir, about whom I wrote quite a lot last term. So very big thank you to Eric for giving up the time to come and share some highlights of his career with us, uh, a successful auction as well. And um, I'm very pleased that we've got the sporting dinner back up and running after all this time. Um, earlier on this morning, I also had uh, the great honour of attending the Easter end of term assembly up at Christchurch. The year 11s um, produced a really fitting tribute to what is essentially their last showpiece assembly at the school before they undertake their formal GCSE exams next term. I thought they were great ambassadors and as ever they've been really strong role models during their time at the school and obviously we wish them well for their revision uh, over the holiday and uh, I know we've got some sessions lined up for you before school before you go on to study leave but great to see them up there at the church showcasing all of the values that we hold dear here at the school. Um, I thought lower prep sound beautifully as well and um, it was fantastic as ever to be uh, hosted in the environs of Christ Church for such a fitting multicultural message about Easter. The resounding message, of course, which is hope. And um, that is something that we can all take with us forward very confidently now after this term um, for the school to plan ahead for its future. So it did seem a very fitting way to round off the term. 
Uh, let's just read out the winners of our integrity badges. Um, obviously, we had mentions and dispatches on Friday. So this uh, week, we have decided just to go with the integrity badge winners for this term. So great congratulations to Olivia Joseph, Mahe Noamar, Aidan Kurambix, Zachary Bland, Eleanor French, Gabriella Collis Allen, Tom Ferris, George Pritchard, Ozan Manan, Sam Woods, Alfie Yule, John McCarty, Dylan Bishop, Ian Shafiq, Ivan Tutai, Artie Spick, Ali Al Rabai, and Tirit Byrne. Um, make sure that you wear your badges with pride, girls and boys. Um, and remain very good ambassadors, please, for us over the holiday and next term. And of course, there will be Endeavour badges for everybody to put themselves forward for next term, because that is going to be our new core value. Um, and equally, we look forward to languages and citizenship as our subject enrichment focus next term. It only remains to say a big thank you. And thank you to my wonderful team of teaching, supportive and uh, administrative staff here at the school for all of their endeavours over the last few weeks. Thank you to you, the parents, for choosing Kingswood House uh, and the brand of education that we offer for your son and daughter. And thank you most of all to the boys and girls themselves who have just been a constant. Uh, they have their ups and downs for sure, but uh, they make this a very happy place to come into school every day. They've been great ambassadors for us uh, through the inspection, through the visits from the Independent Schools Council, Good Schools Guide, uh, without really doing anything fundamentally different, just being themselves. And uh, that, of course, is exactly what the education we provide is designed to do, to make sure that we produce well-rounded young men and women who are socially confident, have a bit of self-esteem and are looking forward to life beyond the school gate with justified confidence and life skills. And on that note, I wish you all a very happy Easter, a wonderful holiday, and I look forward to seeing you a little later on in April.